what does scalability even mean to you? There's a formula for it that you gotta keep asking yourself. Why do they wanna scale? You run a tech company, I run a staffing company. We've both grown significantly. What are things that you've learned that have enabled you to scale and grow two multi-million dollar companies? I think the very first step is know what do you want? Identify your goal. Yep. And from your goal, identify how that turns into the dollar amount that you want for your goal. What the it net dollar amount. Yep, yep. It's a net dollar game. Yep. And then from there, I think it's audit your day, prioritize what, what's important, delegate what you should not be doing, focus on the highest priorities. It sounds so simple, but I think people struggle with it. And I think that's where I would start, you know? I think if you're going to build a scalable business, whether that be a real estate team, whether that be a brokerage, whether tech that be company, a tech staffing, company, tech, anything, yeah. you got to, I think you have to be very clear on what your vision is. Businesses change all the time. You might ship a product today and might dump it tomorrow. You, you know, uh, markets evolve, markets change. All of that happens, but the foundation is the core values. The core values is, is who you are, not what you do. What we do changes all the time, but who we are does not. Another issue is, well, I don't have time to hire an assistant. I'm really, really busy, or I don't have time to build that team, or I don't have- Then you shouldn't scale. I, could, I remember when I was like, I don't got time to train a buyer's agent the way that I would do it. Well, then you only have enough hours in the day to show property or to list property, so good luck. Then you're at your cap. And at some point, you're gonna go, I'm gonna kill myself working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or I need to get help have a, a balanced life knowing that energy is going to push me to, to do bigger things and I'm going to have to delegate. And you might have to go through a couple assistants or you might have to go through a couple employees and they're not going to be as good as you. And guess what? They shouldn't be as good as you because if they were, they'd freaking leave you. <laughs> we all get sidetracked. We all get pulled. Truly audit your day and then prioritize what's an A priority, what's a B and what's the crap I need to delegate off to somebody else or just cut out. I mean, this is really teaching your team how to be, how to have good productive habits. Make sure they're aligned with the priorities, make sure they're doing dollar productive stuff, making sure that the company as a whole is charging towards the goal. I do my best work when I'm working on the big priority items, vision, strategy, where we're going, building the relationships. That's what I'm great at. And if I'm aligned with my right hand person, whether it be my business partner, whether if I'm on a real tour and I'm a team, or even a, a part-time assistant, a virtual assistant, a transaction coordinator even. You look at your strengths and weaknesses and then you define what you want to happen and then they keep you accountable to them. The funny thing is the difference between millionaires and billionaires. Billionaires don't ask, what do I need to do? Billionaires ask, who do I need to hire? All the control used to be at the broker level, now all the control is whoever is doing the volume and so as a broker, you have to start thinking about like, what's my financial model? How am I gonna add value to these large teams or my own team so that people don't leave me? Um, and then how am I going to exploit my superpower power, you know, in my, whether it's your brand, whether it's how you lead generate, whether it's all the systems and processes you have in place, like how are you going to speak to people so they're like, um, this is my home and I'm gonna stay with you. I have to be able to inspire and lead and train and motivate and, and, and set people up for success so that they can do what they do best in their skill set. And that means, one, you have to have the right leader who can do that and who can inspire their team, but also you have to make sure that leader is clear on the vision, the direction, the strategy of the company. I would define our culture as super entrepreneurial where you know we give people the freedom and latitude to make the decisions, hold them accountable, make sure they have ownership on the decisions they make. To, to execute, be flexible on the details, but stubborn on the vision. And you have to have a, a you have to define with your team, your staff, how you want the culture to feel and, and be like. You know.